Lessie from the Cello Museum. We are an online um, institution. And as part of our um, physical space, we have these cellos of an unusual shape. And you can see that I was just playing this water jug <laughs> cello. This was made by Eric Warren of, of uh, Minnesota. But I would like to encourage people who have never made an instrument to go ahead and try it out. Uh, as you can see, this has got an axe handle at the bottom and a uh, hand carved tailpiece here. Cello strings, A, D, G, and C, and this is a bass neck at the top. So if you happen to try this out and you ruin the water jug, it's no big deal. Just start again. Um, I've had an interesting time playing with this. It doesn't feel quite like a regular cello here in the in the lap. Um, at first it was rolling around on me a little bit and um, it was kind of pushing out of the bottom. So I went to Home Depot and I got this, it's a drain um, piece and it's got holes in the bottom so I was able to put a piece of paracord through it and then uh, tie it around the chair. So that solved the problem of the cello running away. And the other issue I, I was having was I was squeezing the instrument because it kept running away and it was changing the wolves on the instrument. If you have not played a cello before or, or a string instrument, wolves are a note that stands out. And this is a wolf eliminator down here. I still have one on the A and I'm trying to figure out where to place the wolf eliminator. But instruments like this usually have some wolves on them. Um, if you've always wanted to play the cello, but thought it was too expensive to purchase, this is a good way to start. And if you are worried about playing with the bow, you can go ahead and try to pluck a little bit. Especially if you play bass or guitar, the translation should not be too bad. you to try this out. Thanks for watching.